Let's check out this one from Nadia Batson. There's another one of those beats but have a bouillon feel to it. In this video, I'll just show you the, the hands coordination and you can check in the older video of what the hi-hat is doing and what the snare is doing and what the kick is doing. I'll probably put it somewhere down in the description or maybe put a link somewhere up, up or down, down. Okay, for the coordination of the hands, I will play this open-handed, but I'll show you a um, traditional way so it's easier to follow maybe. The coordination could be with the right hand and the left hand could be something like this. Right, together, right, right, Left, right, right, cycle again, right, together, right, right, left, right, right. If you took the time to check out the other video, you will see that um, the hi-hat is playing uh, a more like a zook feel or the soca clave or bouillon, whatever you call it, but it's, it's playing that that um, that kind of feel what we hear a lot of times before. If that's on a difficult side, you might even try to play it with um, regular eight notes, but it won't have the feel, the same feel as a song, but you can start with that to get you going. That was just to let you see where the snare drum falls um, if you would play just eight notes on the hi-hat. But like I said before, I like to play this more open-handed. I just taught myself when I'm playing the, that zook beat on the hi-hat. I, I started learning myself on the left hand, so then I have more room to do more things on the toms because most of them don't really play that much on the snare, but they like to combine it with a tom sound. So it's exactly the same as playing uh, crossed, only thing is uh, it's open handed. So the left hand is doing what the right hand normally would do on the hi hat and vice versa. It makes it easier to do things like this. Like I said, check out the other video where I explain more in depth how this beat would go with the left hand and the right hand only. And um, yeah, that's it for the instruction part. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already or leave a comment if you have a suggestion.